Welcome to Mowgli TV. Today we're going to go through a very quick way of making a paint effect entirely in Resolume. This is what we're going to be working with. I'll just turn the effect down. So basically just got some footage of me with my modular synth in the garden, bring the effect back on. And we've got two dashboard controls for it, the detail and the brush size. So if I bring down the detail, you see it gets blockier. And if I bring down the brush size, it does exactly what you'd expect. It's like using a smaller brush. So let's break this down. Here I've got the clip unaffected. The first thing we're going to do is go to our effects stack and look for dilate. Drag it onto your footage. We're going to do a couple of things here. Open your dashboard. We're going to assign the opacity to link one. We're going to rename it wet. That will be our wet and dry control for the overall effect. Then we're going to change the shape to circle. Going to leave the mode to light. The size, we're going to drag it to link number two on the dashboard. See what that does. And we're going to rename that brush. We're going to drag the spread to that brush dashboard control. And what we're going to do is move the dashboard control the way to the right. And then we're going to tweak the bracket for the range of the spread so that its maximum is within usable limits. And then we're going to drag the threshold to our third dashboard control. Name it detail. So this starts to look quite good already. I mean, it's a very usable effect that you've got a lot of control over using just the dashboard controls that we've got, but we're not quite ready yet. So next thing we're going to do is go to our effects tab and look for Kuwahara onto our clip. And again, we're going to drag the opacity to the wet and dry control that we've assigned on our dashboard. We're going to move the radius up to about 12 and now we bring up our wet control and you can see that the detail brings more or less detail and the brush size does exactly what you'd expect it changes the size of a virtual brush so between these three controls there's a lot of tweaking to achieve from quite extreme effects to more subtle all in all very handy for that next gig where you want to do a set like your favorite impressionist painters. There's many ways you could take this effect further. You can add colorize to tweak the scheme of whatever you've got in your footage. You can add maybe some levels to adjust the contrast and overall impact of your image. But this is a very good starting point to have this painterly effect. I hope you've enjoyed it, that you find it useful. Remember to like and subscribe as it really helps my channel and hopefully I'll see you here again soon.